imagine a grand memorial service being held in the historic Windsor Castle, where royalty from around the world gather to pay their respects. Can you picture it? The grandeur of this event is magnified by the person it is held for, none other than King Constantine of Greece. This grand affair, steeped in tradition and respect, is a meeting point for royals and dignitaries alike. It is here that they come together to honor the legacy of a man who held a place of prominence, not only in Greece, but also within the international royal community. In the lead up to this event, the royal calendar was abuzz with engagements and preparations. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, was particularly anticipated. He was not just another royal attendee, but a key figure in the proceedings, slated to offer a heartfelt reading in honor of his godfather. However, amidst the anticipation and the regality of the event, a surprise was in store. The Duke of Cambridge, a figure synonymous with duty and dedication, made an unexpected decision. But in a surprising twist, Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, did not attend. Now picture this, the memorial service in full swing, but without Prince William. A noticeable absence, wouldn't you say? As the attendees paid their respects to the late King Constantine, the absence of the Duke of Cambridge was a glaring omission. The reason given, a personal matter, was shrouded in vagueness, sparking a wave of public speculation. What could be so pressing, so private, that it would keep a future king from his godfather's memorial. In the midst of this unexpected absence, the royal family's adaptability was on full display. Other family members, stepping into the void left by Prince William, ensured the decorum and respect befitting of the occasion were maintained. Yet, even with these efforts, the absence of the prince was palpable his chair standing as a stark reminder of the personal matter that kept him away. The intrigue surrounding this incident deepened with the discreet silence from Kensington Palace, offering no clarification or further comment. This mute response, rather than quelling curiosity, only served to fan the flames of speculation. The discreet silence from Kensington Palace only adds to the intrigue. In the aftermath of the memorial, questions arise. What could be so personal that Prince William, known for his sense of duty, missed such a significant event? The implications of his absence are profound, as it sends ripples through the royal family and the public's perception of them. The situation underlines the challenges and pressures that the royals face in balancing public expectations with private needs. Despite the glamour and prestige of their status, they are not immune to life's unforeseen circumstances. It's a delicate dance, maintaining the decorum of their public roles while also attending to personal matters. This incident serves as a stark reminder of how personal issues can deeply influence public roles, especially within the monarchy. The royal family is continually scrutinized, their every move analyzed and interpreted, and this event is no exception. The public eye is always watching, always speculating, always questioning. Yet, amidst the speculation, there is also empathy. We are reminded that they too are human, facing their own unique set of challenges. As the royal family navigates through their challenges, the mystery of Prince William's personal matter remains, making this moment in royal history a focal point for both empathy and scrutiny.